Mystical Love and Light here. I am going to, um, this is the second part of the Dragon's Blood Ink. The first part was the Dragon's Blood Ink base along with the Dove's Blood Ink base and the Bat's Blood Ink base. This is the second part to make it the actual Dragon's Blood Ink. So instead of doing the two of them, because I've done two um, samples of each, I'm going to do the one for the Dragon's Blood Ink on the Vanishing. This is what I put it in. Okay. So the reason I'm going to also do the Dragon's Blood Ink separate than the other two the other two will be uh, different parts is so that i can give you just a few more examples i'm not going to show you because it's the same procedure on the part of the um this part is after i turned it, the video off then i went ahead and topped it off with the liquid to make sure it was completely full because I had to hold it up, get up and hold it up to the light. And I didn't want all that part on the video. And then I just got the tag and wrapped it around the bottom part of the seal. And closed it up really, really tight. If you don't close them up really, really tight, you'll come back um, after 24 hours. And um, it will not have any isopropyl in it. Because it would have been all evaporated. Now, I actually did the other video the first part three days ago it's taken me three days to upload 33 34 minutes and that's because the first time it got up to it takes hours and it finally got up to 52 minutes not 52 minutes it got up to 52 percent and then it said error after most of the day and then so i tried it the second day it got up to 86 percent and then because that took hours and then the third time around it finally did it so you're gonna see this video after the other video but keep in mind from the time i actually filmed it to the time you've seen it was three days okay so we're going to do the banish the vanishing one and it's got all the herbs in it they've been infused in it everything's been combined really really good and I'm doing this on top of um, the uh, plastic like a kind of a plastic flimsy cutting board the kind that you fold so that way it doesn't get on the marble because it will stain dragon's blood will stain so first what I'm going to do is put, and this is the really good Dragon's Blood. There's different ones out there. You'll know the really good ones because of the prices of them. And they're like really, really red. Okay, so I'm just going to put um, a couple pieces in it. And I am going to use my mortal pestle. This is the other dragon's blood base for the general all around. I'm not gonna do that one on camera. But while I am mashing this up, I wanted to do these separate because when when you buy Dragon's Blood from a main company, a big company, um, they just have a general, just a standard Dragon's Blood ink. Well, there's... 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 100 different dragon's blood inks it depends on what you're using it for so if you're going to be using it a whole lot and for certain things like this one i'm doing for the banishing then you use 
If you're going to write out a petition and it pertains to banishing, then you use the dragon's blood ink for the banishing when you write out your petition. If you're going to do a petition for money, then you do make an ink for money and then you write it out in the dragon's blood ink for money. So hopefully you're following what I'm saying. It might need to put a little bit more dragon's blood because if I don't need it all, I don't have to use it all. Now the isoprofol, that is what dissolves the dragon's blood resin. Regular rubbing alcohol is not going to dissolve it properly. Can't let it dry out because that's what keeps it. Um, I'm doing that and I knocked my bottle over. The lids are all on, so it's all good. Alrighty, I got it there. Okay. Maybe I need to kind of hold it like this or I knock everything off. Well. So, if you're going to be doing a working and you're writing out a sigil or writing out on bay leaves or writing out on whatever, to be a talisman, something, just whatever you write on, remember it's going to stain red. That's what this is. It's red ink. It's Dragon's Blood red ink. So if you're going to do one for sex and romance, then you make the ink for sex and romance. So I'm still squishing this. So, um, example, if you're going to do one for sex and romance, then you want to, this is what I use. You don't have to use it. Remember, I always say that. You don't have to use it. You don't have to do what I do. I'm just showing you what I do. If I, if I make a dragon's blood ink for sex and romance, I'm going to be using purple hibiscus, uh, willow bark, and juniper berries. And if I'm going to be doing a cursing, I'll be doing a dragon's blood ink for the cursing, which for the base I will be using um, holly with berries because it's poisonous. Uh, mistletoe with berries, that's also poisonous. And mesquite bark. Okay, I'm going to be doing one for uh, protection. I'll be using to make it a dragon's blood ink for protection, which I will be um, using sage, anise, and cedar chips. I'm going to be doing one for money. I'll do a dragon's blood ink for money, and I will incorporate the um, uh, basil, say basil, uh, anise, and dandelion root. Okay. Now I'm going to put this in here. I'm not going to put all of it at first. I will wait and see. And always use the same utensils. Once you put the isopropofol in it. You use the same utensils. I will have one of these cups for each one, whether it's the dove's blood, the dragon's blood, or the uh, bat's blood inks. I didn't get the isopropyl over here. Because I will need it in a little bit, just in case I want to add more and top it off. So I'll just sit that there. My chair's a little closer because I lost a few pounds. Oh, and going back to the weight loss working that I did, he's already lost 17 pounds. And going back to the working that I did, well, I won't go through all of them, but so far they're all, they've all worked out. 
and the one for I did for the lady with a can breast cancer she had a doctor's appointment the day before yesterday I believe and so they got back with me and the doctor's amazed no more breast cancer it's gone no lump no nothing it's gone thank you Lord okay so this is the one for banishing and so I will when I get ready to um, put some more of the isopropyl in here to actually pour it in I'm gonna put the gloves on and the mask on but right now I'm just going to use some of uh, this base and a strainer so that if it catches the herbs I can put the herbs um, back in because I want to keep those herbs in it and I am making a mess so I should have put on the gloves because they just ran down my fingernail always have napkins handy so I should have put our gloves on I don't know how to pour I guarantee you next time I'll put the gloves on put that over there and you're just going to stir 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 now when I finish doing this I will not take this glass bowl and a spoon and go wash it off. I will use paper towels and um, wash it off. And I have some of this here because I am getting, I can feel it on my finger now. some more you want to be kind of fast at doing this because um, now like I say when I start doing that other one I will definitely put that mask on if it's too strong not so bad right now and see the herbs are still in here and I will um, top it off when I get off of the camera so the video is not so long Now there's little clumps in here still that's fine you're gonna put it in here because as it sits it seeps even more and it will dissolve those chunks and as you can see I got my feathers here the red one for the dragon's blood ink the white one for the doves blood ink and the black one for the bats blood ink and also too what I did was is I added the part to it so that when I dip it in I can use it to write with and I don't know if you can see So now once you get the right color you want, you can leave it or if you feel it's a good color and you've got room to add some more isopropyl, feel free to. Then we are going to open this up. 
and it has this little piece in here and we're going to add this in let me put my mask on because i can start to smell it already mm. I'm taking my glove off just to get this part here because I have not touched that. Can't do it with the glasses on. My glasses on. My glove back on. Got it twisted. I don't know if you can hear all that. I got it twisted, so I had to turn it back around. Okay. Yeah. Now it's starting to get even more red. I couldn't tell you which dragon's blood I got because I've thrown away the original package because I put them in the glass containers. The resin, but you can pretty much tell by the prices. Okay, so we are going to put in here. I say, if you're happy with what you have here, great. And if you feel like the color is fine, there's still chunks in here that will keep dissolving with the isopropyl. So if you feel like you need to add a little more isopropyl, feel free to. Like I say, I will refill my base because it still has the herbs in it. This I would just wipe out with a paper towel really good, but I will not, if you put it in water, all that resin that's dissolved will turn back hard and get like all stuck in there. And I don't think you I don't know if you can see it in there or not. I don't want to tilt it too far. There you go. And since there's still chunks of resin in there, I can go ahead and add a little bit more. And I'm going to put this over this. Just to add a little bit more. Like that. Close it up. And I will put the little silly seal thing on it. This is a one ounce container, by the way. If I sell any of it, it's going to be in a smaller container with a pricing so expensive. But if someone just wants it in this size, then it's going to be pricey. And shake it up, leave it in there. And with the isopropyl in it and the base in it, it will continue to dissolve those little pieces. And anytime I want to do a working that pertains to let me get this off anytime i want to do a working that pertains to banishing i have my dragon's blood ink for banishing and oh guess i could take this off now i got everything closed up okay and that's how to make the Dragon's Blood Ink Banishing. I say, you can do it however you want to do it. But this is how I do it. And I've given you a few samples of the different ones that I make. And the next video will be the Dove's Blood Ink. That way, it'll be in a separate video, not too long. And I can give you a few more samples of what I uh what I include in the basis. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I'm going to get off because it's almost 20 minutes and I don't want it to go over. Thank you. Bye.